are going to be short and very precise. Uh, so, if you have a trading view account, just type one on the chat. If you have a trading view account and you know how to use trading view, type in one on the chat. If you don't, type in no. Okay. Uh, what I'm really going to be dealing on is as a result of the response you give to me. So I'm going to just be quick with those who give the response, right? Wow, we have a lot of people out here who don't know how to use TradingView. You know, I guess this was going to be really very important. HFX and just keeping one of the most uh, fundamental things of being a, tra a trader, right? Okay, so your trading view is actually a kitchen. This is where you cook the food. This is where the traders cook the food. So if you want to be a trader, you must learn how to use trading view. So I did a video right now on how to set up a trading view account. It's actually on my Mo. Uh, if you're here, if you're here, you should go to YouTube. How many of you're here? You're not following me on YouTube. Type in, type, type in five. If you're not following me on YouTube, type in five. I want to know those that are not following me. All right. Type in five if you're not following me on YouTube. Wow. And I keep saying these things. All right. Okay, you guys go to... Okay. So presently, right now, so I'm with you. You guys go to uh, more uh, more academy TV. Just type more academy TV. Right. Okay, so this is my channel on YouTube. So I, I'm seeing presently right now, I'm seeing about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so I presently want to see this move to 34, right? So let's, let's do this. Just go there, subscribe, and I, I just tell you, subscribe, click on subscribe. This, this is what you need, right? I did a video on how to use trading view to even copy our trades, do some markup and chat up. All right, and it's actually on our IAM Academy. For those who don't have, uh, I believe TradingView is also on um, HFX platform. Okay, but I practically just broke it down how we use, how to use TradingView to set up your chat. Okay, it's very, very, so you watch this video and make sure whenever you're watching, right, like, comment. All right, let's, let's, let's promote this thing big. You got that type in one 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 on chat. You're there already. I'm re I'm refreshing this. Nothing has moved. Nothing has moved. Okay. Let's go there. Let's go there. You're there already. I'm 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 not seeing I'm not seeing this moving. What you do? You come there. You click subscribe. Right. I'm moving. How many of you have done that? If you've done that, type in one 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 on the chat. All right. Okay, good. So this is the video. This is the article you're going to read. Can how to use trading view to set up your charts. All right. It's something you can do instantly. Just go there. And whenever we have a popular demand, something I'm looking at, you guys really want, I, I likely would, rather than do the class every day, right, I would just put the video that you can go, like some of you don't have, um, uh, don't know how to use the chat up on uh, IQ options. I did a video, right? You want to know how to open a uh, trading account on your phone, MetaTrader 4. There's a video, all right? There's a video on price trap. This is a video on how to use the I Am Mastery Academy. 
okay the platform short video okay this is a video on compound sheet all right this is a video on harmony scanner this is a video on okay the same price trap so you, you these are short resources that could help you all right do some wonder so trading view um hope you guys i just hope you guys do that right so this is where we do the magic this is where we do the analysis everything you're seeing in so let me go to let's see all right any of the strategies we're looking at here right now they are done from the platform trading view trading view is your trading platform for you to view all right for you to view the market and set up your chart this is where technical analysis are being broken down all right, that's why I actually wanted to do it. So I see a lot of people don't even know how. They don't have trading view. So all you're doing is you just, you are in the window of the very big market, but you're not inside the market. All you're doing is just looking through the window. Whenever you see any good thing you, you do, you just order and it comes to you. But you don't really know. You're not inside the market. So if you're not on trading view, you're not inside the market. You're not doing technical analysis, right? And you can't know how if you don't, do technical analysis okay so how many of you have you got that you've got that you've got that done sorted already i said type one 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 on the chat if you got that sorted already okay the video on trading view so i'll just breeze over it right i'll breeze over it it's very very simple i'm going to use a uh, mm. so three things i want to talk on market overview and technical analysis, which is very, very critical because everything a trader does, whoa. Okay, let me clear this chart right now. Your relationship with the market is very, very important. Your relationship with the chart, the candles, you know, price action, trend, support, resistance, okay? I talked on something uh, yesterday and on market overview, very, very important. But most importantly, today we'll be dealing on the technicality of the market. Oh, let me change this hours to something. Okay, let me leave it on one hour. There's a simple psychology in the foreign exchange market. The moment you understand that psychology, everything is sorted out, everything is done, right? Now you want to write it down. So simple. I'm really going to be quick on this. Someone type it on the chat for me, right? Someone type it on the chat for me. Good. Um, Tombi is okay. Let me know if someone is here. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Um, naturally gifted. Are you on the call? Okay. Hold on. I need to. I need someone to be on this call. I don't know. And some of you, when you are, when you join this morning, say I had to, I had to skip every session today. Put my phone off, so I will, I will have the energy to do this <laughs> this morning. So I didn't attend any sessions this morning, so I could, I could really do this this morning because I have been feeling in my body lately that uh, my body need rest. So, but we need. Walk. You need to keep seven. So then, excuse me. Okay. Right. Okay. Good. So. Good, beautiful. So one of the things I'm looking at, the trend helps me know the direction of a deeper look, right? So I know that, oh, I position myself for sell, okay? And I can sell deeper when I know the trend is going down, right? Like this deep trend. Now, this is a small trend, but in the major trend, this market is what? A big trend as well. Okay, you can see that this market is what? It's falling down. So this is what a trend means, something that is going down. See that going up? So we have uptrend, we have downtrend. That's not what I'm gonna teach you here. 
but just understand that this is just overview. So the trend helps you see the direction of the market and where to put your trust more in. So I put my faith or my look, my watch out more for what? Positions of a sell. So rather than picking more of a buy, I'll pick a shorter buy or pick a longer sell. Why? It's going down, right? Does that make sense? So that's for what? Trend. The next thing is what? Uh, support and resistance. So like I said, market sells at a ceiling. The law of gravity operates in the market as well. So Kenry, what do you mean? <clears throat> okay, cleaning everything. All right, so this is what? The, the present right now. Let's go to the past. A little bit of the past, right? Uh, the market is trending down, so I don't really want to go too far. But this is way past, right? This is, this is like April 20, that's last month. So we're gonna do a little bit, you know, today's technical analysis, right? How do these things play in the role of the market? So let's pick some charts. This is, okay. Uh, how many of you, 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 you have trading view now? You, you've got trading view. Okay, so you're gonna watch this video, so I really don't even need to go to that. You're gonna watch this video, right? It's recorded, and I told you where you can actually know how to use your trading view for those that are in HFX, okay? And this is how to use trading view. The moment you register, you click on this, right? If you go back, uh, I really wanna do this for every beginner in the system, right? That's why I'm doing this. Oh, so you're gonna click on, so if I sign up right now, so when you, log, when you, when you click on tradingview.com, this is what you're gonna see, right? So you click on sign in or sign up. You can sign up with your Google account to put, uh, put your details, right? So me, I've already logged in, so I'm clicking on what? Uh, okay, what did I click? This account appears to be a Google account without a password. Try using login with Google, okay, good. So I signed it with my Google account. What, what is this? All right, so I'm in, okay? So if you have a Google account attached to your phone, you can just use your Google account to sign in, or you can sign in with Facebook, or you can create a username and a password. You get in, right? I'm a pro, I'm a pro member as well. You can sign in with uh, the, the normal. We use some of the features, that's why I'm a pro. Okay, so you go to chat. You go to chat, right? This is where all of the activities are happening. So when you come here, you're gonna see the market. So the currency I'm looking at right now is, my screen is a little bit short. Hold on, let me see. Let me make it big. Okay, good. So what you see, I'm just gonna test floors, ceilings, all right? So these are the two bars. What, where my uh, uh, arrows are, they are the two bars. So if I pick here, I wanna pick up on horizontal lines, okay? So how do you identify, you know I said, now that you know the market is buying and selling, the question is, all right, where do I buy and where do I sell? And I just told you that market what buys at the floor, which is what floor, base, support right? And market sells at the ceiling, all right? Which is ceiling roof resistance. So the next question, and sometimes I like you guys to write the question down. Now you, how do I buy? Uh, where do I buy? Okay, good. The next question is, how do I identify support and resistance in the market? Okay, so if I take a horizontal, the roof or pinnacle of a market is called what? The resistance. The base of the market is called a floor. Right? So in the parameter of where I am right now, right? So I'm using here as a parameter of choosing my roof and my floor. So in this area, which is from April 20, okay, this is April 17 to May 6th, 
this is my roof. It means that the pinnacle the market got to and the base, which is the support. All right. So market moves from support upward. That's where you jump. You want to jump right now. You jump from the floor. You want to fall down. You get to the ceiling. You jump from, the, you jump down. You can't jump up from the ceiling. You jump. You have to fall down from the ceiling. Am I making sense? Type, type in clear. I need you guys to be following me on this one. Just type in clear so we could, we could, we could bomb this up, right? Type in clear on the chat. I don't want to run and leave anyone. We're good. So this is within the space of, let's say, two weeks or probably a week or so. That's where I got my support and my resistance, right? Now let's move the market to the present, OK? And let's do some markups as well. So in the present, this is what? This is what? Pinnacle. This is what? Floor. This is what? Floor. So what am I doing? I'm marking what we call what? My S and arrow, support and resistance. OK? What I should have done, let me delete some things. Hold on. Let me just, because I wanted this to be clear to everyone. Okay? Let me take the market a little back. A little back, right? What has happened in the past market will determine what's going to happen. A larger percent of what's going to happen in the future market, right? So if I see here right now, so just by picking what I just told you now, the base of the market is the floor, right? So here is the floor of the market. Here is a ceiling, all right? It means market came here, rejected, okay? Here is a floor of the market. So what I'm doing now, I'm just picking floors, okay? Here is a ceiling. So I'm just picking what? Floors, ceiling, all right? Where market had rejection. So here is what? The floor, all right? I'm doing something and we're gonna see it in the future. So here is a floor. Here is a floor, right? Here's the floor. Good. So I marked this thing based on what I saw in the past market, right? Here's the roof. Here's the floor, right? This, this is the base of the market. Good. Are we guys seeing how I'm picking the lines? All right. If I'm picking the line, you guys are get, you're, you, you have, you, you're getting the idea of me picking the lines, which is my support and resistance. All right. Type S and arrow. So I'm just speaking roof floor, roof floor. So these are my support and resistance. Those multiple lines you see all these traders put on their charts, all right? These are how they get them. Roof top, roof top, roof top, okay? Because I really want to make it as simple, as simple, as simple. Now, I did this in the past. All I did was pick support and resistance. So let's see how it plays a role in the future, all right? Good. Now let's look at this very well. Okay, good. <laughs> all right. Now I did not, I deleted all the lines that I, I put. So this is the future of the market. I never marked anything here. The only line that was in this market that I marked around here was this what? Support this roof and what? This floor. Am I right? If you agree with me, the only line I marked around the present right now was this two line, which is what? This area, was this area, right? And this area, that's the only two lines. The rest of the line, I went into the past and I marked them. You agree with me? I need you guys to tap, type on the chat, yes, okay? If you agree with me, yes, yes on the chat. Okay, let's interpret something. I said market buys at the floor. So now you've been able to go to the past, right? To get what? The floors and the ceiling. Okay, I got all my floors and the ceiling from the past. Now let's look at the present. The, the market, is this a floor? 
when the market got to the floor, so the next place after we are marked was what? This area. Okay? When the market got here, did it buy? Type buy on the chart, right? If the market bought. So market buys at the floor, right? I said market buys what? At the floor. So the question is how do I identify my flaws? And I showed that I went to the past, which is what happens in the market, holy grail. All right, so this is what I call holy grail. So did it buy? Good, you guys confirmed that it bought. Because why? It came, I, I did this in the past because why? It was a flaw. It's either a flaw or a ceiling in the past, but it's, a, it's an area, right? But in this contest, when pride is above, you want to write this down. It doesn't matter whether it's a roof in the past or a ceiling in the past. Price action shows you that when price is above a line or a zone, that line becomes what? A flaw. Right? When price is below a line or a zone, that line or zone becomes a ceiling. Am I making sense? Type yes on the chat. If I'm making sense, I just... The most important thing is know where price action plays a role. So I marked this line in the past. And guess what? It's a, it's a flaw in the past and can still be a ceiling in the past, right? But right now, based on where I am in the market, so I'm using this place as an area of what? Projecting into the future. So this is the future, right? But this is where I was. So I marked this as the area I was. I'm using this as the present future that we've not seen. So this is like a demonstration of the future we've not seen. So let me, let me put a, a different box there with a different color, probably a lighter color, right? So the yellow color is the future we've not seen. The blue color that I uh, marked first, the light, that color, like looks like light, I don't know, all right? Is the it means that was the present that I marked this roof and the floor. So I don't know what has happened, all right, in this yellow box. But one of the things that made me to understand what will happen is S and T's, S and arrows, which is support and resistance. It means I can know what will happen in my future market if I'm able to what determine what has happened in the past market. So I went into the past, and all I did was what mark up areas of what? Support, support, resistance, resistance. So, so I was just picking the line where market had a rejection. So this is an area of support, but it's also a ceiling. This is an area of what? Support is also a ceiling, right? Ceiling. Okay, so I just marked the support. And guess what? That simple play I just played out is playing in the present price action. Right? So let me make it several times he did. Okay, so the first thing is that what? This zone, this area reacted as a floor and price bought. And guess what? When it bought, so let me, let me remove uh, this thing. I think is, I believe you guys can see it as well, right? It bought from the floor. Guess what? You know, I marked this area as a ceiling, right? As a floor in the past, which is what was my present. Guess what price did when it came to that area? What did it do? Type it on the chart. What the price do? What did price do? Type it on the chart. You guys are teaching me right here. Let's do this together. Type it on the chart. What did price do? Sold. Why did it sell? Why did it sell? Why did it sell? From what you just learned, what I just showed you right now, why did the price sell? Because it hit a, someone said a support, that's true, right? It was a support, but I said something, I said it because of this. When price is below a line or a zone, 
what is that? It becomes what? A roof, a resistance. When it's above, it becomes what? A floor. Okay? So it's making sense now that, oh, when price fell down, we saw a line and price bought at that line. So it means that line is what? It's support. Good. It means if price is below another line at the top, that line will become what? A resistance. So what is a trader looking for? Now price came to the floor. If a line was, if I was able to determine that well, this was a floor, what I would be looking for is what? When price comes to that zone and the candle closes on that zone and a new candle opens and is buying, I'm going to join the market for a buy. Market buys at what? The floor. And it sells at what? The ceiling. Right? So I know, oh, market is now buying. The next thing I'm seeing is what? The next line is a ceiling. When market gets to that place, is what? What am I doing? Selling. All right? If this is clear, typing clear on the chart. Are you guys excited? Crystal clear, I love that. It's good, it's easy to be a trader, right? You just need to look at the right thing at the right time. So the funder, so a lot of people are following these traders, but they don't go, because some of you don't go to the academy. Everything I'm showing you here right now is in the academy, okay? Market buys at the, the moment you understand this thing I just wrote here, and that's why I'm doing this demonstration. The moment you understand it, you're a good trader. You can start, you, you can, you can begin to practice the tools very well. You can use them very well and you can begin to, blow, to, to grow account massively with your practice. So guess what? This is a registered what, support, uh, ceiling. This is a registered floor. Now let's go into what? The future. So this was this, right? It came, came back to that same zone. Now what, what happened? Came back to that same zone, reacted a little bit. Guess what? This reaction we are talking about is some money. Guess what? This is about 40 something pips. All right, it's sold. So you, you'd have got more than 30 pips. For someone who's doing HFX, you, at least you've gotten your five, five minutes if you sell, right? So now you understand this line. Now you know how to draw them. Now you know how to get them. How do you use them to trade? It's the next thing I'm going to, all right? So if you look at this right now, it breaks. <laughs> Watch it. Another one, tipping point. <laughs> all right, another one. And type another one on the chart. Another one. Who's, should I give you another one? Who's, who's looking for another? If you want another one, right? Type another one on the chat. All right, can I give you, can I tell you guys something? Do you know why I'm excited? Who can tell me why I'm excited? Who can tell me why I'm excited? Ten dollar for somebody who's gonna tell who's gonna tell me why I'm excited. Ten dollars. Ten dollars. I'm gonna. I promise ten dollars. That person is, is gonna tell me why I'm excited. You can get why I'm excited. I know it's been a while. You see me excited like this, right? <laughs> uh, no, no. Wait, 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 wait. Shukwe Mekai, uh, Shukwe Mekai, you just got $10, right? Good, you just got $10, right? You have a Bitcoin account, send it to me, or you have a Skrill account, send it to me, you just got $10. Because you guys are following and responding. The chat is in front of me. Whenever you guys are following and responding with speed, I'm excited. That's it. You know, there's, there's an energy of excitement. I, I, I give up my best when I know someone is receiving it and is responding, right? And everybody's learning. Are you guys not learning right now? Are you guys not learning right now? Are you guys not excited? Type in 777 in chat if you're not excited about what you're learning this morning. If you're excited about what you're learning this morning, type in 777 in the chat, right?
Because why? We're all responding. The chart is not cold. We're not for learning. Okay? Another one. Right? So, remind me, I got $10 for you, uh, Chukwe Maker. Okay? Right? And I was able to pick you very fast because I know you're very responsive when it comes to the chart. All right. So, another one. Good. I never mark this line when I mark the what? The area of what? My present. I only mark these two lines. These two lines, right? Which is what? The resistance and support. These both lines I got from what? The past. Another one. When price broke that level of floor, what happened? What happened in this area? Type it on the chart. Right? Type it on the chart. What happened? Sold. So it means when I see that price is coming up, it has broken, it's coming up. What do I do? I'm looking for what? A sell. I'm placing a sell embargo in that area. I'm watching, I'm waiting carefully. Whenever it gets there and the candle closes and a new one is opening and it's a sell candle, what do I do? Put a five minute sell on my HFX or put what? A sell on my Forex. I win all the way. Did I win? Yes, I won. How many pips? I'm showing you the money as well. When it came here, you sold. For Forex, you'd have made what? 122 pips. That's major. <laughs> That's huge money. That's huge. HFX, man, you just, you killed it. One minute, five minutes, you nailed it. Right? Every tool, every signal, every analysis, right? Is all in the charts. Price action, trend, support, and resistance. The most important thing in trading is what? Support and resistance. The most important thing and price action. Right? Am I using any indicator here? Type, type on the chart. Am I using any indicator? Am I using any aid, any artificial intelligence? All right? This is why I love Christopher Derrick. This is plain Forex. This works for any trading. I learned this long, all right? Everything I learned is from Christopher Derrick. Support, trend, support, resistance, price. He said every indicator they build they build to indicate what the price action is looking like. Okay? But the moment you can know how to go into the past and begin to study this on your own, you can begin to create you can begin to create your own buys and sales area. Right? This is not rocket science. This is the game. This is the big deal. Okay. Now, another tipping point. Type another one on the chart. Another one. Another buy area. Okay. What happened? I said when price is above a particular line, what, 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 what is not up, uh, what becomes of that line? Type it on the chart. If price is above, what will become that line? It's a floor, right? Guess what? Did, what happened when price came back to that area? What happened? What happened? What happened, guys? Type it on the chat. What happened? What happened? The price action. What happened? A bot. Can you see? Another one. Straight up. Five minutes win. 15 minutes win. HFX. Right? Clear. Because why? You know fully that it's a flaw. You have, now you have the lines there. The lines are your indicators that these are my buy areas and my sell areas. So my former sell area can become my buy area when price is above what? That area. So it was a sell area in this region. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Another one.
<laughs> it was a judge and jury here. My wife was looking at the chart and said, someone got it first before Chukwe Mecca. And I said, no. I was looking for a particular word which is responding. So KK got it by following. You said following, right? But Chukwe Mecca said following and responding. I was looking for the word responding. Okay. So another one, right? We got a floor. Now it was a ceiling when we were here. We don't know what's in the part in the future, but we know it was a ceiling and price came from a floor. But now price broke the ceiling. So no more, it, when price are above, it's no more what? A ceiling, it's, be, it's become what? A floor. And through price action, the support and result, we had another line which we've gotten from the, future, from the past. So it hit that line, guess what? It sold, which makes the, this line a support. And guess what? Did it respond to that support? Absolutely, yes, right? It went back to that same region, right? Came back down. Now it came here, it didn't respond again because the momentum was strong. But guess what happened? Guess what happened to price, right? Good. Now this is the same zone. This is the same zone. Now in Forex, this will call a drawdown, all right? But they did in a zone. You know, when we're marking our zone, we always mark two lines. Did you see that price reacted to this zone as well for a buy? Yes, it did. Might have had a drawdown, but it eventually came up. Just like we take some trade in the HFX, they tell you buy, but price will first go down before it comes. It's reacting to it, but the force of the sell must what? Reduce. Okay, so for this, it didn't respond immediately, right? It did here at the point and went back a little. So it responded to it, but short, and that's about 30 pips, right? If I, I believe if I pick this, it's about 40 pips, that's huge, right? So let's say you took this trade around this area. I said something, you know, the overview we're looking at, I want us to look at it critically. So for everyone who's here, you begin to ask some of the questions you're gonna ask me, I already know, so let me begin to answer them with my training, right? So around this area, it's a buy area. Good. You see this candle? It's a full momentum candle. Did it close on the line? No, so I wouldn't have even bought. What I said is what? Candle must come to the zone, close on, not below. Close on, another candle opens, it means it respected it, but now it didn't respect it, so I wouldn't have bought in this area, right? Because why? The candle, poop, right? Poop, it blew that zone, it means the momentum was so strong. Look at what it did. Came, went back up to gather momentum. If I mark this line right now, so what am I doing? I'm gonna put price action. So this is what we do with price action. Look, I'm gonna put this area, right? Because now what price did was it came to the floor and came here, it's now a ceiling. So I'm marking this in the present time. It's gonna show us something in the future, I believe. Okay, came back down, pick another floor here. So I'm marking this area as well. Another what? Line, good, the blue, there am I going? Another one, right? So I just did this right now, so let's go back. I just marked another line, let's go back, right? Let's see what price action I've done in the future. Look what happened here, it broke. When price is below, what did I say the zone is? It's now a ceiling, can you see? This is what we call what? A retest that's not for the class today, but you can see price reacted. When price does something like this, it means it's a full blown momentum, it's trying to do. Can you see after this re break retest? These are the hard students, right? What happened to price? It took price down, I believe, over close to about 250. Why? Because of what it broke. This is technical analysis, right? Support, resistance, price action. Price action showed that what? Price came, blew the support. It never respected the support because momentum of what? The sellers are big, huge. For it to continue, it's gonna show you something, right? What did it show you? It actually showed that what? It reacted, came back to that zone which is now a ceiling. When price is below, I'm seeing it as a ceiling. So if price is coming back, what am I looking for? A sell. So this is clear. If you are taking a sell from this area, guess what? You cleared it all down to 250 pips. You see how people make money in the market, all right? With these simple strategies. 
So here I just reveal the strategy to you, which is called what? The break and what? Retest. New student, don't, don't jump. I'm trying to do a class for both. I want everyone to enjoy the class, right? I know I started this off because I want some of you traders that are new to understand what price action is. So what are you getting if you're new? You're getting to understand what controls the buys and the sells, which is S, arrows, and T's, support, resistance, and trend line. Trend is center. The market where it's trending to, you understand that. So I'm looking more for a sell. Can you see that the, when the market is moving, it's having more momentum down? It's 250 pips, all right? It's coming down. So if I place my area on the sell, I'm making more money because why? The market is trending down. That's what I use my trend for. But I get all of my buys and my sells from what? The support and the resistance lines that I've drawn from the past. Another one, right? So what did price do when it came to this area? Look, so I have this line in the past, which I drew here. So this is where we started from. This is what? The floor. All right, and the top one is the resistance. Now let's go to the present, present future. What did price do when it came here? Did it sell? Right? So price is around this area. That's the only line I have there, okay? When price came here, it didn't respect it, so I'm not taking anything around this area. See, when I see price is under this and it's coming back, I'm watching again. When price came there, did it sell? What happened? Another one. All right, another one is so right good now i want to show us something else today is what today is friday did i give us a signal here this is gbpjp one okay <clears throat> if this candle closes below this zone right now i'm going to sell this market because why it's a break and a retest but I'm not really going to talk much on this, right? I just want to make it fun if we could have a signal, right? <laughs> okay, Abego, I'm some nice opportunity already on that zone. Make me, <laughs> make me enter. <laughs> okay, you're seeing what I'm seeing, right? <clears throat> if this price closes above, I won't buy. If it closes above, I'm going, ah, okay, sorry. If it closes above, if the momentum pushes up, right and another candle opens above this i'm going to buy to this area so tipping point right because why it closes above it's not expecting it but if it closes below the same line here right now right and a new candle comes down and is selling i'm going to sell down all right i might sell down to this area so take this all right take this let me send it on the chart well, I know some of you deep traders already understand what I'm saying. For new traders, stick to the learning, right? Stick to the learning. I'm going to put it on the chart. When you learn, trading becomes fun. So everything I do right now is on the chart. You can put it, you can copy it on your trading view. Some of you, you already know how to do that, okay? So, so if this candle kind of closes above, below this zone right now, I'm going to take my chance, though it's small. Right, it's a small one. I'm going to take my chance for a sell. I might sell down here or put my TP2 down here. Okay, but that's an area. Okay, so there's a tipping point. And guess what? When market is coming down to this area, this is, this is another line. You can see that this is another line, another one. Okay, I mark this line around this area, but guess what? Price reacted to it as well. Right, so if price is coming back down around this area, I'll be taking my TP if I was selling because guess what? It might react and go back up because that's a floor. Market buys at the floor, sells at the ceiling. So, right now, I've marked my path and I'm seeing that that's the floor. So, if market is coming to that area, what am I positioning for? I'm either for buy, short buy, but majorly what. I'm looking at, the reason I said I was looking at the sell because I know this is a downtrend, right? It's a downtrend. So I'll be looking more for the sales than what? The buys. So this is a good area. And this is also a good area. So a patient trader would be, mm, I don't want to be in the middle. Let it come to this area, be a very good sell. I want to look at it twice. 
sell it down, right? Or I want it to come to this floor. If I want to buy, I would wait for it to come to this floor and I'll pick it for a buy, right? It means I am watching it in real time, in real time, and I'm being patient. If I jump into this market right now, I just want to capitalize on, oh, if it's going to go my way. But if I really want to be patient, right, I'll wait for either coming to this floor or coming to this ceiling. That's a patient trader technique. All right? So I believe we've been, we've been, able, I've been able to use this to communicate market overview, all right, and technical analysis. This is all there is in technical analysis, right? Raw for naked forex trend support resistance the moment you can capture this you're a good trader right you're a good trader market buys at the floor sells at the ceiling just simple okay so i was able to communicate those that i knew here and those that there's what we now call what price action Price action is what controls the candles. Okay, so market is getting to a ceiling, I sell. Market is getting to a floor, I buy, all right? If market breaks a ceiling, <laughs> what am I looking for? I'm looking for the next ceiling. I've already got it through my space already. But by eventually I didn't get to the next ceiling and come back to that former ceiling that it broke and it tested off as a floor. What am I doing? That's the retest. And retest is a confirmation for retest for continuation, right? Retest is a confirmation for what? Continuation. So whenever I see a market, that's why I was saying I was going to buy here. This is a break off from structure. It broke the floor and it retested. It means it wants to continue. So if another candle opens, that's a confirmation that I should get in for what? The continuation. It's called a retest. Right? So mother time, maybe next week Friday, we're gonna deal on deeper technical analysis. But for this, every new person should go to their trading view and begin to practice drawing S, arrow, and T's and begin to practice buying and selling in their demo account. And next week, give your results. Be faithful, be accountable, all right? Don't let this lesson just go down to the drain. Use it for yourself, you're gonna get better at trading. Right? Have you been able to learn something from this? Type in some 777 in the chat. Okay. You can see the candle is actually reacting to the cell right about now. Okay. The one hour candle, the next one hour opens, you can actually set it or you can actually uh, look at a 15 minutes, get in. Never be too quick to trade. L understand, all right? Price action before you jump into the market. Just because I'm saying it's a sell, it's my, all right? I'm looking at the market right now. I'm using the eye of a trader to look at it. Just because I said it, just jump into it. You're not learning, right? It may sell, it may not. If it doesn't sell, Guess what? The next thing you're going to ask me a question, but I took the trade you took now, but it didn't sell. Right? It's analysis. Not everything you analyze goes your way, but the truth is if you follow it judiciously, you have a higher percentage, like we've seen in the past. Right? It reacted the same thing in the future. If you're patient and you're waiting for it critically, okay, we didn't really deal on retest. I just brought retest into it. What you should be looking at is the sales and the buy. All right? <clears throat> Do you have any question for me on this one? If I push to the next, uh, so I said we're gonna do. Whew. Wow. I don't think I can cover the three today. I'm just gonna talk. Uh, so we still have IBO training and. Uh, so account management, I did a little bit of it. I said we're gonna do in depth. So what I'll do is. Uh, Okay, we, oh, we smashed Euro JPY, price tra uh, swipe trade. Wow. How many of you got Euro JPY? 
Swipe tree. I sent it yesterday. Wow, that's beautiful. Oh, whoops. Hold on. So I'm looking at uh, if we just pick it down and set another class for I. Okay, what I'll do. Uh, Wow, this is what? What do you see? I don't good money, right? That's some good money, right? Small leverage. See what small leverage can do. Small leverage. Zero point zero two. Excuse me. All right. What? Yeah, that's cool. Hundred peeps. So what I'm thinking is, uh, I'm going to go into my archive. I did a training on IBO. Uh, the last time I saw it was processing. So I'm going to go into my archive and I'll draw out the video and I'll send on the group. So that covers for IBO. Does that make sense? If you like that, type in 111 on chat. So I'm going to send a video on IBO. Right? Type in one 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 and chat that, that covers for IBO. Then on, on, on account management, what I'm going to do on Monday, I'm going to go on Monday in depth on account management and risk management. Does that make sense? So I, I really want to have you guys digest this. And if you have a question, just type on the chat. Or if, if, you, if you need a mic, I can give you the mic. Just raise your hand, I'll give you the mic if you need a question. So let's digest this today. Let's not rub it off with any other thing, okay? You can ask me a question. Okay, you can see it's the same thing I displayed in the market. So I said I was gonna show you every of the tool you see. So what I did yesterday was just as a knowledge of the same thing I just showed to you guys in the cash trap, cash trap, cash trap. Okay. So cash trap. Okay, let's see if we're going to see any trade on cash trap. Slow but sure, we'll get there. All right. Okay. All right. Can you see? Let me show you something. You know, the same way I told you, can you see, this is a floor, right? This is a floor. I marked the floor from. You guys agree with me, this is a floor. You agree with me, this is a floor. If you agree, type in agree on the chat. Type agree on the chat. Right? And this is a ceiling. This is a ceiling. I want to show you guys something here, right? This is a ceiling. Good. And this is also what? A floor. This same floor is a ceiling. It's a ceiling. Now let's see the magic here in the future. All right, so let's expand. I want to show us something. I want to show something, right? Good. <laughs> I love this. When market came here, did it buy? Did it buy? Type yes. Good. 
another one. When market came here, did it buy? Good. All right. Now, let's look at another one. Market broke. The retest I just touched on you right now. What happened? When market came here, price is below. When market came back to that line, did it sell? Retest is for continuation, right? This floor. But came, broke the floor. Retest is for what? Continuation. Did it continue? Type, type it on the chart. Another one. Good. When market came back to the zone down, did it buy? Type buy if you bought. Did I do any analysis on this one? No, I just, I just picked what? The same zones in the past, right? Good, right now this market is showing me this is what? I want to give you guys a signal here. I want to see if I can give you guys a signal. You can type it out. You can use it at any point in time. Right? So this is a floor. This is a ceiling. Good. When market came here, did it buy? Right? Did it buy? So this are, this are winning, clearing. So if I would marked it, so now, where am I? Anytime this market gets to this place, what are you going to do? Type it on the chart. Anytime this market gets there, so type it on the chart. Sell Euro USD. It might be long, but it's definitely going to get there, right? That's a retest. That's a stronger retest. And if it gets there, it's going to sell. Sell. You can sell for five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes. Anyone you choose. Sell at one. Okay, I'm gonna give you at both forex. This five minutes, I can't give you for forex. Forex can actually get 30 pieces out of this. Let me see. Okay, forex, you can get oh, 20, 20 something pieces, right? You can take it for 20 pieces on forex. All right, give it a 15 piece stop loss, All right? But HFX, whenever I get there, sell for five minutes, All right? Can sell for five minutes, can sell for 15 minutes. Whenever I get there, and guess what? If you get here, price, this stochastic would have gotten up here, All right? I'm giving you a strong one here. All right, so take the signal, sell at 310 Euro USD. Five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes. Okay. And another quick sell. You can see it reacted here. Another quick sell for five minutes is zero to one. Am I correct? No, 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 no. It's 103. Another quick one is 103. A quick sell for five minutes at 103, but a bigger one. I, I placed more bets on the first one I gave to you. So I gave you two entries right now for Euro USD. Uh, Babe, please mark it for me on my. Okay, all right. Let me go to my IQ option. Is it? Ah. Okay, so that's Euro USD. I'm also gonna give you some signals on. Okay, Euro USD is here, so four percent. Changing it to candles, and I'm putting it on five minutes. So I'm gonna pick my lines. So I said, what's the first signal? The Fed, uh, where was that? Okay, hold on. Hmm. 
Wow, our numbers didn't reduce. What happened? You guys are sticking with me. You like the class, right? You love the class, type in 555 on the chat. So you guys are sticking with me. You didn't go. By now, some of you would have dodged that. You guys love trading, right? You can see the market is buying right now. Uh, so the first one is, I said 301. Is it 301? Hold on, let me be clear. No, 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 no. It's actually 216. Sorry, correct that, right? 216 for the first one. 216 for the first one. So this is 216, right? So I'm going to come to a lot and I'll put two, two, one, six, uh, six. All right. So that's two, one, six area set. And the next one is I said one, one, oh, three. That one should be there in no time, 103. So let me put that an alert at um, 103. Okay, good. So this is 103, you can see the alert line is there. on a bit. Uh, so I'm using the body of the candle. Should we use the week? I'm seeing it clearer here. Yeah, should we use the week? Okay. It rejected, rejected, open and so so let's use that. One or three. All right, sell at one or three. And if price comes back to that same floor, where, where is the floor? So in this same, I'm giving you a strong signal. So this, this is a floor price actually responded to now, okay? Good, all right, can see same sell, right? So if price comes back to 983, 08983, Nine eighty three is nine ninety. Okay, zero eight. I'm going to use the alert line zero eight nine eighty three. Right, so that's that. Look at it there. So, all I need to do is pick this, pick it there. All right. So if price comes back to this 983, I'm going to pick it for five minutes. All signals are five minutes by. Okay, five minutes by. If it comes back, I'll pick it for five minutes by. I don't really know what the currency is trying. It's a downtrend, so it might still be a push down. Euro USD. Ah, it's a downtrend. It's a downtrend. So I'll be looking more for the sell. Use a low leverage for the buy, but you can use your normal leverage for the sell, all right? Because it's a downtrend. So I'm looking more for the, for the sell. So if it gives me an opportunity, it comes, let's say it, it pushes back to this area of sell. Because why? It's a downtrend, all right? And that's a retest, okay? So I've been able to show you another thing through the class again now, how to set your alarms, how to put your lines, all right? Simple. It's coming there, it's coming there so fast. So let's see if this candle is gonna close. It's coming there, so let's see if we're gonna get a trade, right? It's coming back down fast, 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 fast. 
I said use a low leverage. Use a low leverage. This is down. This is one point. This is one point. This is one. Okay, so we would want to see if it's going to give us what? The arrow to face up. It's getting there. So we would wait for the arrow. The moment the arrow comes up, good. It's there. I believe it's there right now. All right, so let's just wait. Okay, so it's almost there. So let's wait for the arrow. Let me see if you guys are asking me any question. Okay, how does the currency strength meter work on this, right? Uh, okay. After this, I'll just talk a little bit about that. And I close, right? So it's getting to the line. Good, it reached. So let's see. All right, I know some of you that jumped into the trade, but let's see. I'd want to see this. Give me a three pointer. Okay, because we're using the hard glass. Some of you would have jumped into this, right? Guess what? It would buy, right? It would buy. If this candle closes here right now and a new one opens, I'm going to buy that. It will definitely buy. But the time is now when, right? It's still pushing down because what? Now, this is, this is a strong one. This means hot. When you see anything like this, it means hot. USD is stronger. You can see. USD is stronger than what? Euro USD it means you slow down on your buys. I've given you the region. Now you understand you are in charge. Okay? You are in charge. If you pick it quickly, you might win it. All right? But now I want to use close. If the candle closes, the next candle that's going to open, I'm going to pick my buy. I know some of you are already. Okay, how can you hide your balance? Okay. You click here, click on settings. All right, you come down. Balance displayed at the top. You can hide it. You can, you can see, right? That's done. You can see we are taking the trade. Someone said smash. Did you take one minute? I said five minutes. Good. New candle up, right? New candle up. Five minutes. Right, new candle, it, it closed above. All right, that's that. Five minutes. Okay, some of you are already in it, and I know, and you're winning. Someone just said, smashed it. So, that is one simple way you can use the simple scalper, all right, to trade. You can see it's pushing up. Right? Some of you jumped in earlier. You can see now, um, Majuta is not going to tell you open and close or what I, I just told you. I told you what I told you because of what I taught you from technical analysis. So even if you are jumping with Majuta, guess what? You're still going to be in profit. But you can see it all aligns, right? It all aligns. Some of you have cleared. If you clear this trade, if you took it earlier enough, you would have cleared. Right? You would have cleared. Okay, if you took it with me, it's still in profit. Now, you have a bigger confirmation, all right, to win this trade when it's on a sell signal because of what I showed to you is a downtrend. All right, you want to be picky with the buys. You want to be picky, just like you, you want to really be picky with the buys, but more consistent on the sell. Right, so if you, if you see that if you take if you took this trade for a ride here, you are in deep profit and you are closed, right? For five minutes, okay. Open and close. We check the currency strength, USD is still strong, right? Look, this is what is affecting it, this is what is pushing it down. And whenever you see something like this, is a serious minus, a serious minus, you hot. Okay, it favors me more when I see this push price to the next ceiling and it wants to say, I see this, 
boom, I'm going to jump in practically well, jump in with speed, all right? So what is causing this to go down right now? I just showed you, okay? So those who actually took it on that line would have cleared, all right? But those who waited for me, they are still in the trade, okay? And I'm showing you why it's going down. It's going down because of the momentum of what? The currency strength. Euro USD is what? It's, it's going down because the USD is stronger. Now for uh, uh, Emmanuel, you asked that question. Now there's what we call base and quote. All right, so this is Euro USD. This is the base currency, and this is the quote currency, right? This is, called, this is a pair, right? This is a pair. Are you with me? Are you with me? Right, can see it's seriously pushing down because what well, USD is strong, it's a downtrend. Right, there's something I'm trying to learn off this as well. If you want, I'm done with it, I'll share it with the team. Okay, I pick shorter sales, shorter sales for against the trend, and longer sales for favoring the trend. Right, so what did I mean? I'm trying to do some practices on that. When, like this trade I saw right now, I probably take it for one minute, just like I'm learning that from Luis Acosta. How many of you are following Luis Acosta? One minute. Even uh, Leonardo Diaz. One minute. You see this technique I just showed you? They do it on one minute. So, you, you know, how many of you know if it's one minute you took, you'd have cleared? You'd have cleared the trade. Type in 777 in chat. Right? If it's one minute you took, you'd have cleared the trade. If it's two minutes you took, you'd have cleared the trade. Because why? It's against the trend. Right? It's against the trend. Anything against the trend, and it comes to its support, short time frame. Okay? So I'm really, uh, I'm really practicing on that one. Now, are you with me, all new students? So this is the base currency. The first currency is what? The base. All right, compared to it is what the quote. Now, when it comes to sentimental analysis, right, the market react to sentiment. Sentiment means if the base is stronger than quote, market will what buy. If the base is weaker than quote. Market what? Sell. Just simple. It's called what? Sentimental analysis. Technical analysis is what market buys at the floor, sells at the ceiling. That's technical analysis, right? Am I, are we together? You got, you got that, right? Everyone, did you get that? Every new student. So whenever you see them go through, so how do you get the sentiment of the market? You get it with what? Currency strength meter. Euro is the base, USD is the quote. So the market is selling because the quote is what? The base is weaker than what? The quote is going to sell. That's why the market is trending down. That's why we got Euro USD went 100 pips because why? Euro is weak, flat, and USD is what? Strong. The same thing will be happening to Euro JPY, right? If I go to Euro JPY right now, Some traders use this to trade, but we use it for confirmation. So let's go to Euro, Euro JPY. All right, can you see this? What's happening to Euro JPY? It's drowning. Because why? Euro is flat, JPY is strong. So the market is falling down. 
there seems to be another one here. Wow, this is going to stay for five, 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 five for two minutes. It's coming to the floor. Well, okay, let's leave the signal aside, right? So I'm closing, I'm closing the class right now. I really spent time with you guys, right? So I'm going to give you the website. Live charts. Okay, let me just copy it and put it on the chart. And also, you, you we use FinVis. All right, this is for volume. We use it to know the volume of the market, the confirmation for volume in the forex market. Okay. Oops. 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 Wow, made some money in Bitcoin. I bought Bitcoin at eight thousand nine hundred yesterday. I've not checked it, but what I'm seeing here, I've made some money. I've already made money. So JPY is stronger than Euro. That's why it's falling. AUD is weaker. AUD JPY, what's going to be happening to AUD JPY? Type it on the chat. Type it on the chat. Type it on the chat. What will be happening to AUD JPY? It's going to be selling. Massive sell, my brother. Oh, uh, who says so? Yeah, massive sell. AUD JPY. Let's go there. Where is AUD JPY? Where is A? Yeah. Okay, look. It did what? A massive sell, right? And you see, even this candle is selling. Why did he buy, guys? Now, I want to see. I want to show you guys something right now. I love this. I love the fact that we saw this right now. Why did this buy? So we are seeing two candles that are buying. Why did he buy? Can you tell me on the chart? So the, I didn't do any analysis on this. This is you, you came to you meet you met this, right? Why did he buy? Because it's a flaw. It got to a flaw. Forget sentiment. Technical analysis play a bigger role in the market, right? It hit the floor, and guess what? It reacted to the floor. So another one. What would have happened if you had marked that line before? So I'm, try I'm trying to tip. This is a tipping point for forex traders, all right? There's something I'm going to start next month. Uh, and guess what? <sighs> On the 29th, it's my birthday, OK? And I'm, st I'm starting something very big, very huge. OK, so next month, I'm going to trade forex into HFX. Okay, we're gonna go longer time frame. I'm gonna show us the techniques of using our longer time frame and you win money, you can take and you leave, go sleep. So that syndrome of you always watching and your heart will be beating. I wanna try and take it off, right? Uh, I think I just gave you the tipping point. You guys are excited, right? Like putting some fire emojis, we're excited. You wanna take away those beating points, those heartbeats, sitting in the market just waiting for two minutes, but you wanna take some trades, probably one, two, three, five trades, 10 trades at the same time, and you leave it to run. Okay, you want to wake up and you see your results. Smashed. Tipping point, tipping tip point there, okay? Stay consistent, stay consistent. Right. Oh, you guys love it. Wow, good. So it hit. So what would I have done? What would I have done? I know there's no pending order. So what I'm going to do, we're going to mark several chart in our Forex and we're going to watch them in our HFX. Whenever they hit in our Forex, we take them for the longer time frame, all right, in our HFX. You leave it to run. You don't need to watch. Like what happened here? If you're taking this trade for a one-hour buy, guess what? You closed above. If you're taking this trade for a one-hour buy, guess what? You closed above. So whenever a market breaks and retests, take it up for a one-hour buy. That's we're gonna do some. We're gonna start with demo. We're gonna practice it out. We're gonna take away those syndrome of waiting, 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 waiting for five minutes, two minutes. All right. So it's reacting because it's a flaw. But guess what? It's still a downward move, right? Because you, JPY is stronger than what? So uh, I believe I've been, uh, I've been able to use these two things I just shared with you, Emmanuel, which is the currency strength. It's called sentiment to show you. Oh, 
Oh, Bitcoin is jumping! I'm so excited today. Guys, forgive me, I'm so excited. You guys, you made my day already. So I said on the 29th is my birthday. And uh, I'm trying something. Should I see it out here? Look at what is happening to Bitcoin. Look. Came to the floor. It, this is around where I bought it yesterday, right? Can you see? This is money. Just imagine how much is this, right? And I guess it's coming here, right? It's where it's coming. And that's a whole lot of money. So I appreciate all of you for being on the call. If you have any question, you can actually ask me right now. I'm closing the call. I'm going to stop recording. Wow, this is going to be a rich class. Uh, okay, so I'm going to stop recording. I'm going to pause.